For the short version of Five Tiny Arches, I'll be doing each cycle one time. Don't go into any pain or discomfort at all in this movement. The movement is called Five Tiny Arches. Think about your low back arch and divide that into three sections. So we have a very low section of the low back arch, sort of the middle of that low back arch and the upper section of the low back arch. Very slightly, uh, as if you're rolling your pelvis down the mat, you're pointing the tailbone down toward the mat. Could you just arch that lowest section, the lowest third of the low back arch? And, and look, look carefully, as you come into that, those, the, just those bottom few vertebrae where it meets the sacrum, what, what part opens in front as you just create an arch in the lowest part of your back, the lower third of the lumbar arch? And lower down easy out of that, slow. Slow, slow. Really take your time, carefully coming back to rest. You just arch that one section. Where do you tighten in front to flatten that section a little bit down toward the mat? Okay, just, just that lowest section, look at how the front tightens, where is that? and relax out of that very slowly, very slowly. The next arch, let's think about the, the center of the arch of your low back. Where is that place that's the center of the arch? So if you begin to just gently arch, the middle of your low back pushes up to the sky just focus that effort right in the very center, just a few vertebrae in the center of that low back arch. And come on up, and it's sort of like that arch is, the arching low back is dragging your back pockets up the mat a little bit. Lower down easy out of that. Can you relax the center of the low back arch? Slow, slow, slow. Less and less. Really take your time and come back to neutral. Tightening the front of the body to exactly push the center of that low back arch down into the mat. Where do you turn that on? Find that contraction of the front. Not stretching your low back. Be careful not to make it too much of a stretch. Think of it more a closing of the front just to focus on that section of the low back the middle of the arch of the low back. Coming out of that easy. Easy, maybe let a breath come into the abdomen. Okay, just breathing. Let's come up a little higher, the third arch. Think about that low back arch and let's come up to the upper third of your low back arch. Can you, can you make the arch right there? Okay, we'll find that. Make sure it's up high enough, but not up into, just, just at the beginning of the ribs. All right. Lower down easy out of that. Slow. Little steps. Breathing as you need to. Less and less effort. Less and less effort. Coming down to be supported by the floor. Look carefully, the upper third of the low back arch. Where do you tighten the front to push that place down into the mat? And find that. Okay. The front is on, its muscles are tight. And come out of that easy. Easy. Slow. Just rest. Let's come up into the ribs, the, the back of the rib cage, okay? 
Can you arch? The, the, the back ribs, you're just pushing them forward. Push the back ribs up toward the sky, sort of to get an arch in that, you know, in the rib cage. There you go. What place opens in front as the ribs push forward and the back pushes forward. Lower down slowly out of that. Slow. It's a meditation. It's a de-escalation of tensions that we're in a lot. You're in them, I'm in them. Okay? It's relaxing. Tighten the front of the body to push the back of your rib cage down into the floor. Just find that. The shoulders might come up a little bit up off the floor. Gentle on the neck. Make sure it's rib focus, though. Ribs are pushing back into the mat. And relax out of that. Slow, slow. Take lots of time. You've got lots of time here. Easy. Easy. If you can't sleep in the middle of the night, this one's a great one to try. You can do it lying on your side, lying on your tummy, lying on your back, any position. You can do it seated. The fifth arch of five tiny arches. Can you get an arch right between the shoulder blades? How does, how does that place arch? Arch the back gentle on the neck. The ribs are pulling the shoulders together just a little bit. Find that highest arch of the, of the torso. Come out of that easy. Easy. Gentle, just less and less, less and less to rest. How do you push? How does the body tighten? Where is it in front? It might be lots of different possible places. How do you press that spot between your shoulders? How do you press that down into the mat? Okay. Find that place that's tight in front. And relax out of all of that. All of that, slowly, 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 slowly. The second cycle of the fifth arch, the arch of the uppermost ribs. The ribs push forward. It's like you're pushing your bow tie up toward the sky. Just a little bit. Can you find a yawn in those uppermost ribs? Which way do they pull to arch the back? Lower down easy out of that. Slowly. Slowly. Gentle. Closing the front of the body to push the spine right at the right between the shoulders. Where do you tighten the front of the body to push that place into the mat? Find that and relax out of that slowly. I might have a little bit too much pillow to do this one, this arch, and to find it. But use enough pillow that you're comfortable. Okay, five tiny arches. Thank you very much for practicing with me today. I'm Eric Cooper. Blessings on your journey.